In this video, we're going to be talking about D Savage's new album, Mafia Music, not Mansion Music, Mafia Music. But before we start, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to turn on post notifications so you get every video after. Without further ado, bro. When the world needed him the most, you know what I mean? Like, fuck. And I also don't know if he did it on purpose, if the whole mafia music and mansion music was a, you know what I mean? Even the music part was spelled with a K, but obviously, you know, they both like are all about like blood shit. Like, you know what I mean? So at the same time, I guess it's coincidental. I don't know, but I'm glad to hear from D Savage. I'm glad he delivered with some music. He's a lot more consistent. And I'm not gonna lie. You could tell that people are looking at him. Well, I can tell that people are looking him up a lot more. Cause my TikTok where he was, you know, where he was talking about the, you know, he, he was being a good sport about the whole living in a car situation. This new album, I guess, is like really getting his name around more. And I'm glad to hear it, bro. Like D Savage is like really doing it. And he's under Empire. He's giving me the same vibe that Lucky got when um when Lucky dropped Free Wave 3. That's how I feel about mafia music right now. It feels like the beginning the beginning of something new like it really feels like that even though like d savage has always been consistent with the sound and him you know making solid music it wasn't it's he's never like dropped a whole project where i'm like holy shit this is so garbage you know what i mean like i've never thought about d savage in that way in that light you know what i mean so i'm glad to see it bro and i'm here to give you guys the top five we're gonna get straight into it my top well, actually, I'm going to give you guys a memorable, uh, not, how do you say it? Uh, I don't know, bro. The, the number six. I would say if, to be honest, had no features, that shit would be in the top five. No lie. It's a song for bitches. And I was like, yo, like, I might actually have to use, I'm going to have to add it to a playlist. But I can buy you anything you want. Uh, all I'm going to say is the features weren't really, like, sitting right with me personally. The beat was great. Savage is great. But I also could just be dick. I don't know, bro. It's not in my top five, but that's the honorable mention. There we go. So the top five, the number five is going to be Joker part two. Uh, this one has a music video and it's probably the biggest song in the project because it has over like two million streams right now. Yes, that is the big song, right? This is the song in the project, I guess, in a sense. It's 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 on my t it's on my top five because it's actually a good song, but it's on five because maybe I've played it too much. It's not that I overplayed it, but I feel like these songs are better. And that's why I want you guys to go sit through and watch the whole video because I feel like everybody enjoys Joker part two. So if it's number five out of five, that means there's better shit to, you know, oh shoot, wait, maybe I should watch through this and see what he has to say. Now, I do tend to like songs that are like lower in BPM, so like more chill and slower songs. I've said this on Lucky videos and Fonny videos. So take everything with a grain of salt. I'm not trying to piss anybody off. It's my top five, my opinion. But you can give your opinion in the comments below. That's what it's for. Just disclaimer, I guess. My number four is gonna be Come On. This one doesn't have a music video, but I like how he used it as part of his rollout uh, two days before he dropped the fucking project. It dropped on the on the blog page. I forget the name of the YouTube channel, but shout out to them, bro. They make some good ass content. He did a live performance on there. He was at like at a gas station or something, uh, and it's a very good song. And for that, it is on my number four, my number three. Now, top three is like these are songs that are like genuinely in my playlist right now. Heard it for the first time, and I'm like, damn, this shit is fire. Number three, actually, yeah, number three is gonna be Dirty Dan. I'm as fine as it get. You don't wanna be this day. I got 30 on my clip. Dirty Dan is fire. I like how it started. Like it gives you like three seconds to really prepare, and then boom, it just goes zero to a hundred right then and there. The bass hits you like fuck. It feels like super wavy, like in a in a really cool state. I felt like Mr. Krabs. You know what I mean? And this would be on my number two. All right. Now the ending of Dirty Dan has like an outro with SpongeBob and Patrick. Obviously, like Dirty Dan. We know that episode where they're like, "No, I'm Dirty Dan." You know that kind of shit. Now hear me out. This is why it's on my number three. Okay. So. It's cool for the first listen, like, ah, I get it, you know, it's on some skit shit, you know what I mean, like, Dirty Dan, ha ha ha, but, like, moving forward, I'm gonna probably have to skip the song, At, like, as soon as the beat starts to, like, fade out, like, I'm gonna skip the song now, alright, like, cause the skit's gonna get a little bit annoying after a while, alright, um, and, and there's a lot of stuff like that, like, that, it throws me off, like, for example, LOE Shimmy, he has a song called Tina, and then there's, like, a fucking minute after the song ends, where it's just nothing, like you're literally listening to no nothing, bro.
Bro, that's a whole minute left. And it's like, damn, like this song is good. But if I put it on my playlist and then my phone's all the way over there, we're going to be listening to fucking nothing for like a whole minute. You know what I mean? So it's like, this is one of those things. Like, I don't really, I would have to skip it. The song in itself is great, but you know, that's the kind of stuff I'm thinking about. Let me know if I'm tripping though. Like, is that, is that something, is that valid? Like, you know what I mean? My number two is going to be Don't Tell Me. It's kind of on the same vibe as Dirty Dan, kind of. Um, definitely would have been a two-way tie, but like I said, Dirty Dan is third place because of what I just said. So that means Don't Tell Me is going to have to be my number two. Just a good song, bro. Literally don't know what else to tell you. And then my number one is Mr. Motion. Big ass bitch got I'm trying to pull up a pun in my kid. This one's fire as fuck. Now this one is cool because it's a new song and it's like heavy hitting and I also like how he kind of changed the delivery midway through the song. He kind of just like, I, obviously it was because it was the hook and then he starts going on to the verse but even like the, the vibe of the song just felt a lot more like sturt, more solid like something about it bro. Mr. Motion is definitely the best song on this project for me personally. Again, take everything I said in the beginning with a grain of salt. That's just my opinion. I'm very curious as to what your top five is, bro. Let me know down in the comments below. And let me know if you guys want me to check some other shit out. Da, 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 da. You know, all that typical YouTuber. Like, oh, let me know what my next video should be. And like, who should I talk about? Da, da, da. All that stuff. So on that note, I will leave you guys to it. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.